Hey friends, how are you? You can see my earpiece there. Just wanted to say hello to you. Um, I know that we are all, um, not all, but we are kind of on Christmas break or however you want to call it. Just taking the last couple of weeks of the year off so that we can reassess, realign, kind of um, get ready for next year to put some things in order. And so I pray that you are taking advantage of the time that you have not just away from this community um, as we, you know, kind of set things in order for 2024, but just with everything that's going on in your own life. So I wanted to come on and say hello to encourage you. Um, miss talking to you guys already and being with you, but excited about what's happening for us in the next year. Um, came across this verse and it, it just really has just been hanging in my heart. And so I just wanted to, while I still had a little eyeliner on, just wanted to get on and say um, something to you, just hopefully to encourage you. It is Daniel, the 11th chapter and the 32nd verse. Since we did study the book of Daniel, I know we went past this verse um, before, but for some reason, it didn't jump out. It wasn't amplified in my spirit the way that it is now. But Daniel, the 11th chapter and the 32nd verse says, and this is the King James Version, and such do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt but flatter, shall he corrupt but flatteries, but the people who know their God shall be strong and do exploits. That is the part of the, the verse that I wanted to bring out. The people who know their God shall be strong and do exploits. The people who know, have an intimate relationship with their God shall be strong and do exploits. And so, of course, you know, I had to go and look up what exploits meant. And I could um, come up with a definition that I have in my head. And, of course, um, it lined up with what I found in the Word. Um, but there are some other um, definitions or explanations that the dictionary gave um, exploits something that is notable, something that is memorable, a heroic heroic act, uh, a daring exploit, somebody who does a, a heroic deed of achievement. I just believe and pray even now that the Lord will bring you to a place where you will do exploits because you know your God, because you have an intimate relationship with your God. Because you spend time in prayer and in the word and meditating, that God will allow you to get in position, to get in places where the anointing that is on your life will make a difference in someone else's life, in even an industry, um, in your career, in your field, in your job, in your neighborhood, in your subdivision, in the city, in the region you live in. I just pray and declare in Jesus' name that God will use you to do exploits because you know him because you are intimately connected with him. And when you breathe, the, when he breathed the breath of life into us, he was breathing heaven into us. He was bring, breathing all of the resources into us. And so we just now, in Jesus' name, just declare over you and your family that even during this time, as you are reassessing and as you are setting things in order for your life, that exploits will be your portion because you know your God and your God is ready to do great things through you. And so we just bless the name of the Lord for you. We thank God for who you are in this community. And we are looking forward to the exploits that God would have us walk into, even walking into this new year of 20 and 24. God bless you. Take care and we'll talk soon.